Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Molly Boy TV here. Yeah. Damn, I almost said my old YouTube name. God, that would have been embarrassing. Today, we're reacting to Die Straits Brothers in Arms. Now, I'm guessing that you're here because you watched the previous Die Straits video that I did, Sultans of Swing. If you haven't seen that, I'd be very surprised. But if you haven't seen that, go and check that out. The link will be in the description. It has to be probably one of the best reactions I've had on this channel so far. So many people have said to me, bro, Sultans of Swing, that video, the best one I've ever seen. I've had comments say, not only is it the best reaction video on my channel but it's the best one they've ever watched so yeah i don't know if you want to go check that out that's down to you man i don't know much about die straights so into swing was literally the first song i ever listened to i didn't even know they were british which some people are gonna be like what the fuck but genuinely i didn't so here's my time to say again guys if i don't understand something and i know the majority of people already know this but just explain it to me you don't need to be a dick Anyway, we're not going to waffle. We're just going to get straight on with it. I really hope I enjoy this one just as much as I enjoyed Sons of Swing. With a waffling, man. Let's go. Bro, what are you talking about, man? How do you guys prefer the... Hold on one second. How do you... There's a train going past. How do you guys prefer the light in? Do you prefer it when I have the light on or the light off like this? I think I prefer it like this. So I'm going to keep it like this. But let me know what you guys prefer and I'll do what, what you prefer because you guys are the ones that are watching. I can't breathe today. Jesus Christ, I'm so out of breath. Uh, die straight, brothers in arms. Let's go. I really feel like I recognise this intro, but... I feel like it might have been sampled. Yo, this is different. <laughs> when my home is the loneliness And always will be Oh my god, I didn't realise how different this would be. Someday you'll return to Your valleys and your farms And you'll know No longer, oh shit. Hold on. He just said you're no longer grown to be brothers in arms. And you're no longer burn to be brothers in arms. This is so much different to what I expected from the first one. That little guitar work though in the background, oh my god. Through these fields of destruction I oh, got the goosebumps bad then I've witnessed your suffering As the battle reached time I can see the message in the, uh, I feel like I can see the message behind the song in the, um, the video. Clearly got something to do with war. I'm trying to listen to the, the lyrics at the same time. I might have to get them up, but it's quite difficult, actually. I can't really hear what he's saying. I'm liking the, um, the very, very mellow vocals on this, though. Like I said, I did not at all expect this song to be the way it was. I thought it was going to be another upbeat, like, fast tempo song, like Swans of Swing was. Not slow and a more relaxed vibe i'm actually completely thrown off i didn't i really did not expect that we're gonna rewind it just a little tad just a little bit because i just want to hear some more the way that it came in like it, this is, there was a part where the drums slowly not slowly but lightly came in and you knew that was supposed to be the drop but it was just wasn't as heavy as uh, like a usual what would you even call this drama that type of song but yeah mark on the guitar roof the only thing i can remember from the sort of swing video was the fact that he was picking the strings with his fingers and he wasn't even using a plectrum. That's crazy. My rabbits are on one today, so I'm sorry if you can hear something in the background. This part, I actually rewinded it back. Of 
This release because if this is 80s and it's about war, if, if this is the 80s and it's about war, is this about the Falklands War? Because I know that was like, I'm sure, okay, don't don't quote me, but I'm sure that was 82. I'm not sure, but is it the Falklands War? God, do you know what that really reminded me of? David Gilmore, a little bit. So, you know David Gilmore from Pink Floyd, how his his abilities to play the guitar, I wouldn't say, are as crazy like he can thrash out as good as, let's say, Steve Ray Vaughan or Jimi Hendrix or Slash, you know, all those, Buckethead, all those sorts of people. But with Gilmore, it's he plays the guitar in a way that you don't just listen to it and freak out over how good the his level of guitar playing is but you actually feel what he's doing and i feel like he can tell a story with his guitar and this is exactly the same feeling that i got just from mark i'm sure the guy's called mark imagine if he's not called mark i'm sure he is this is the the same feeling i just got with that little solo it wasn't something that was crazy but even throughout the whole song it's reminding me of david gilmore and the way that these guys can play the guitar it doesn't have to be anything crazy but it adds so much to the song and the background of the song sometimes you don't even realize it's there because of how beautiful it's actually just like hidden in there jesus we're gonna i'm gonna discuss it at the end but i had a comment the other day saying that apparently i was just doing this for views to please the older generation i don't think some people can comprehend that just because i used to really like rap music that doesn't mean that i can't like any other sort of music and either and i don't just like music i studied music at college so I really, really, really look into songs when I'm listening to them. So that's why I can enjoy songs like this that people my age wouldn't necessarily listen to anyway. And we have just been but we live in different worlds. Oh, that part where you can never it. I have got 
the goosebumps so bad from that guitar player. Okay, so that was uh, Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits. Now, I'll say this again for the, I don't know, 10th time that I've said it, that I did not expect that at all. So once we'd listened to Signs of Swing and I was getting people suggesting that, I honestly thought that the song would sort of be similar in a sense. No, not at all. That guitar playing, again, it reminded me so bad of like Pink Floyd and David Gilmore's way of being able to send a message through or even tell a story through the guitar. I can't, there's something about electric guitars and the way that they sound. But I'll tell you something, if I smoked the Wacky Backy, I'd probably appreciate this so much more. I just, I just can't though, I just do not like it. You don't realise how much you're actually missing out on until you actually sit down and really get introduced or voluntarily introduce yourself to these songs. This time six months ago, I don't even know Okay, let's say this time seven months ago, because we are getting on a bit now. I hadn't even listened to the likes of like Pink Floyd or the Metallica that we're listening to and stuff like that. From all the music we've listened to so far, I appreciate this shit so much that even the songs like this that aren't the heaviest stuff that we actually listen to, I can sit there and think, okay, this isn't usually what I'd listen to. But again, I don't just listen to music to enjoy it. I listen to music, well, obviously I listen to music to enjoy it. I don't just listen to music to, to vibe to it in a sense, but I do at the same time. It's hard for me to explain, but if I was just doing it for that, then I would just only listen to the shit that I really enjoy. But there is times where I can sit and listen to this sort of stuff where I don't usually listen to because of how much I appreciate the work behind it and stuff like that. So that's why, like, with the comment that I was mentioning earlier, I, I read this one comment and it did my head in because the person said that uh, I'm only doing this to gain views from the older generation. With actual fact, you don't know me, so keep your mouth shut. I don't only do this to do, to pull in views from the older generation because if that was the case, I would only do songs like this from this at 80s. I wouldn't, but I've done songs from like the early 2000s and stuff. I was alive then, so it's also my generation too. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not just doing this to pull in the views. I genuinely, genuinely enjoy this stuff, and if you don't believe it, I don't care. You can leave. But I genuinely, enjoy, I genuinely enjoy listening to new music and appreciating the craftsmanship behind it. I just do. What's so stupid? What's so weird to think about that? It's like the, the dude said to me that because I'm in my because I'm 23, there's no way I can enjoy this. But you, that dude was probably 23 when this came out, and he probably enjoyed it. So why can't I enjoy it when I'm 23? Just because today we're all riddled with shit music in the charts and the industry, doesn't mean that we can't go back and listen to what else we want what we actually want to listen to now we're so advanced in today's society that we like literally through the channel i'm listening to so much stuff that i that wouldn't usually be able to get my hands on if i was around in the 80s but now i can get my hands on anything so how is it so hard to comprehend that okay he can listen to whatever he wants instead of what's in today's charts so of course he probably does prefer this sort of stuff but i, I don't get it anyway back to this brothers in arms i'm really really like i said surprised I did not expect this. The music behind it, the musicianship, everything completely threw me off. It's not usually the type of song that I would listen to, I'll be 100% honest. It's not going to stop me from diving deeper into more Dire Straits. I really, really want to see more. Because so far, you can tell that they were a band that really appreciated their work. Yeah, I want to listen to more with, of their stuff. That's all I can say. If you've got any more Dire Straits songs you want me to react to, please let me know and I will get to them. I'm sorry I waffled about the comment. I just have to let people know that, well, I don't even have to let people know because people can tell, see the, how genuine I am from the video, so I'm not bothered, but I just have to let people know that, yeah, I do enjoy this music. And if I don't, I will say that I don't. I have said before that the songs I don't enjoy. If you've got any more Dire Straits songs you want me to react to, please let me know. I'm sorry for the waffle at the end, but it had to be said. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ow, again, mate. Peace.